HP Omen Accelerator Box plus the RX 580. Does it perform better? Does it? What's going on guys, my name is Jake, you're watching Meat Source, and today I'm going to be kind of recapping a past video that I did in the past. Basically, uh, if you'd seen my previous video on the HP Omen Accelerator Box eGPU, you would have known that my past experience probably wasn't the best. My bad experience with the eGPU was basically the, the stuttering with mouse, keyboard and controller support. So basically, you'd be playing a game, every now and then you'll get stutters with the, with your input. So you'd be controlling, moving forward, then all of a sudden your character keeps moving forward even when you're not trying to move forward. So super inconvenient when you're doing that kind of thing, just gets frustrating as fuck. So that was my biggest, biggest issue with that eGPU setup. Since then, I ended up building my custom PC because uh, I needed more power, especially for editing videos and all that kind of thing. And I just wanted a smoother experience. So I, I went back to the old classic desktop computer. But that being said, I didn't actually get rid of the eGPU. I decided to keep it because I still had the laptop with Thunderbolt 3 support. So I thought I'll keep that motherfucker. And that way, when I do find a graphics card that's cheap, enough i can throw it in there then me and my missus can play fucking video games together for some awesome bonding time so i was on facebook the marketplace and i managed to find myself a rx 580 uh, sapphire 8 gigabyte special edition and my thoughts were maybe because it's obviously a less powerful graphics card by quite a lot my thoughts were maybe the bottlenecking wouldn't be such a big issue as like a possibility I mean you know if the RX, if the GTX 1080 was causing bottlenecking issues then maybe the 580 won't cause the same issues that was one of the ideas because I've really got no f***ing clue on what's causing these stuttering issues and I can see this is one of my that video was one of my highest viewed videos which is cool as f***. Wasn't expecting that much, uh, as much as it's had so far in terms of views. But it also got a lot of dislikes, and that's fine. I don't mind dislikes, it's all good. If you don't like it, you don't have to fucking like it. But I'm concerned that people were thinking maybe I'm knocking the product too much, or possibly even lying. Um, the thing is, guys, I'm really not bullshitting you here. It sucks for you guys that in my video, I wasn't really able to show you the problems that I was having, and I still haven't been able to. Like, I've been trialing trying to capture this shit on camera and it just doesn't ever happen it's like when you bring your fucking car into the the mechanic and you say i've got this problem and they take it for a test drive and it doesn't happen then the moment you fucking get back in it it happens again and that's so like i can't really replicate this if i ever do i'll just chuck up a two second video on youtube just so you can see it fucking happening because i promise you i'm not lying and i just want people to know that this is an issue so if you dislike it for other reasons that's fine honestly but if that is the reason I, I i want this product to work and i think it's important for people to know that it's not always going to work as well as we want it to so basically yeah i threw the 580 in there and it does seem to work pretty well but not flawlessly and obviously um game performance has gone way down compared to the 1080 when that was in there mostly just in the cpu intensive games so i've been playing a bit of wildlands with the missus and that's a pretty CPU intensive game. And the fact that I'm only rocking a Core i5 with eight gigs of RAM, it, it really struggles with that game to get anything over 30 FPS. And that's even on the lowest settings with uh, adaptive resolution set to 50%. So yeah, that's, um, that's how it is, I guess. For the majority of the time, it does work fine, especially with the 580, but it is definitely still the same kind of experience that I was having before. So that really seems to bring the question that I'm pretty sure it's just the i5 and the and the RAM. That's the biggest issue. So I think something that really needs to be conveyed to everybody is that an i7 is highly recommended, especially eighth gen or higher. That's where the problems seem to dissipate a bit. So that's I, I have a strong feeling this is a processor related issue, and 16 gigs of RAM can't fucking hurt, even though. I've played, used the uh, resource monitors and I've found that eight gigabytes is very rarely ever filled up. 16 gigabytes is probably better. So I think that's probably the most important thing to take away from this situation. It doesn't really matter what 
you're going to be using as your setup just make sure that you've got high enough specs and if you don't you're probably going to face some stuttering issues and some frame drops and all that shit. by the way side note this is actually my first team red card um the, the rx 580 and team green all the way that's all i can say um it's not so much the fact i mean i don't expect it to run like my 1080 at all but just the software experience is just better on uh, on the on the green team. You are just tweaking shit, setting uh, custom resolutions, and you can do it all on the 580. It's just so much easier, I find, and easy to get your head around. It could be just a biased view, but that's just that's that, that, that's just my my first off impression of having a, a team red card for the first time. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't. Feel free to hit that dislike button. I don't mind. But if you did like it, hit the like button and subscribe. That would be awesome. Now, just for the guys that do throw the negative comments in the section below. Guys, listen. You've got the right to say anything you want. And I would never, ever take that away from you. I've, I've done fucking negative content, comments before. But the biggest thing that I've probably learned since I've been doing creative things is that if you have something negative to say, say it. But say why you have a problem with that because it's it's fine to have problems with things i'll if, if you do tell me and i'll make do my best to um uh, to fix it and at least make it something that everyone can enjoy so maybe bring it to your level and you could have some really really good input that could really help me or another channel but yeah if you're just like oh you're fucking what do you say this is why not everyone should make youtube videos i'm like man come on come on you know like it's you don't have to be a dick at all you can be like well this is a problem i didn't like the way you presented this or you could just flat out say i disagree with your opinion that's fine as well but at least you're kind of giving more constructive criticism is all i can say and i'm not just saying that for myself i'm saying that on behalf of all people doing creative things there's nothing wrong with criticism just make it constructive guys thanks for watching i'll uh, i'll catch you in the next video have a good one peace